Creator of us on Spirit TV, my name is Jessica Fortune, your host. I hope your week has been amazing and you've made sure to verify every news you've heard before sending them to family and friends. Now let's find out what news were indeed true or false last week. First news on our table for today is Nigeria's capital, Abuja, places a ban on protest against police brutality. True or false? This news is true. Nigeria's capital, Abuja, and the surrounding Federal Capital Territory has placed a ban on protesters protesting against police brutality. According to the FCT security, protesters are violating the COVID-19 guidelines, which include physical social distancing and covering of themselves. So, let's see if that indeed will stop people from protesting. Next news on our table is curfew imposed in Sudanese after protest. True or false? This is true. The Sudanese authorities have placed a curfew in Sudan after the protest against the removal of the governor of state, Kassala. Guys in Sudan are advised to stay safe as these curfews are between 2 to 4 p.m. local time. So make sure to be watchful and careful. Moving on, new police unit to replace SARS in Nigeria. True or false? This news is true. The head of Nigerian police has announced that a new unit has been created to replace the disbanded SARS. And this unit would be known as SWATS. But then, people are still on the streets saying, and SWATS. Let's see how that goes in the coming weeks. Also in the news is, US endorses castration of rapists in Nigeria. True or false? This news is false. The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet, has condemned the recently signed into law castration of rapists in Kaduna State, Nigeria. According to Michel, surgical castration will not resolve any of the issues, neither will it reduce the crime rate. So guys, let's see if that makes a change in Kaduna. Last but definitely not the least news on our table for today is NYSC orientation camps resumes next month. True or false? This news is true. The NYSC orientation camp, also known as National Youth Service Corp orientation camp, has been set to resume on the 10th of November 2020. This was made known by Minister of Youth and Sports, Sunday Diary. So guys, get ready for camp. And so guys, that's all for today on True or False here on Scroll TV. I hope that you found this to be educative and now you know what news are indeed true or false. Until next week, make sure to stay safe, wash your hands, practice social distancing. i see you here same time next week. Bye guys.